Eek. I'm so busy today. I better call Andy for some help here. I hope he brought his tombstone with him. Alright team, let's go kick some Garlean a- Oh, getting a call. Be right back. Oh, it's narrator. Ahoy hoy. Andy, we need your help back at the tea house. This assistant called in sick so we're short on staff. <laughs> so you're short-handed on short staff, huh? Now's not the time to poke fun. <laughs> alright, alright. But sorry buddy, I'd love to help but I'm kind of busy taking on a Garlean invasion force here. Well, yeah, maybe if you and Hikari weren't so busy being useless and playing TLs all the time, you could help me and our fellow Scions keep yours safe once in a while, huh? Hey, I did the best that I... Thank you! What's wrong? Yeah, he heard what you said. What? How? I have you on speaker. Oh, for the... Oh, fine. I'll head straight there once I'm done here. Why don't you make yourself useful right now and gather intel on our enemies for me? Okay, but only because they'll help you get back here sooner. Looks like there are two packs of enemies ahead. Good. I'm gonna get them all. You're tanking? Wow. So you're finally taking up the shield again, huh? Well, you know, I had to rise to the occasion. Anyway, there's another two packs of enemies ahead. You going to get them all again? You better believe it. Okay, just don't get yourself... Wait, are you using clemency on yourself? Yeah. Don't you trust your healer? I do. So then why are you healing yourself? For enmity and so that the healer can have fun dealing more damage. Hmm. Okay, I hope they don't get the wrong idea then. Okay, so it looks like you're at the first boss, the Mark 3D Magitech Colossus. Anything to look out for? Well, since you've taken the mantle of the shield hero, I think I should warn you about its tank buster. Which is? Jarring blow. Just make sure to mitigate it with a defensive cooldown and you should be fine. Vampire did it- Ow! That still hurt. Yep. Wait, what's this attack? Wildfire beam. Ooh, it's unavoidable. Just make sure to spread out so you don't get anybody else hurt. Oh god. Oh well, our healer will take care of us. Wait, why is my echo sight showing me a rotating circle around my enemy? It means it's winding up for its magitech slash. It's going to slash six times in a full circle following the direction the arrow was spinning. Make sure you don't touch the ground when it's on fire. Gotcha. Uh, I don't like the looks of this. It's going to use exhaust. Make sure you get out of its area of effect. All this moving around is making me exhausted. Not really a good time for puns. It looks like it's winding up for something again. It's charging up for Cerulean Vent, but sadly it's... Unavoidable? Yep. Oh look, he's going to do Magic Tech Slash again. <sighs> yeah, but this time he'll be doing two full rotations. Make sure you keep an eye out for which direction the arrow is spinning. Gotcha. Oh. Is this what I think it is? Yep. It's going to fire its Magitek Ray at you. Stack with the rest of your party to share the damage. <sighs> Alright. Anything else we need to worry about? Nope. it will just repeat those attacks so just survive and focus on finishing it off. Alright. Let's end this, shall we? Oh, <sighs> okay. So what's next? You've got three packs of enemies to deal with this time. Hey, you're going to pull all of them at once again, aren't you? Hell yeah. <sighs> Just don't get yourself killed, alright? Hey, it's Pippin and Lise. Looks like they could use some help. Yeah, you should go pick up those enemies they're fighting. There's another set of enemies just beyond, so you might as well go pick them up too. Sounds like a plan. Mm, looks like another boss room. Yep. This one is named Prometheus. Hmm. 
An armored vehicle, huh? I'd seriously love that as a mount. Hint, hint. Okay, anyway, try to drag it a little bit toward the center of the room in the beginning. It's going to use Nitro Spin, which will damage your whole party and will encircle the field with flames. Make sure not to wander into the fire. Not even for science? Don't. You. Dare. Ooh, it's burrowing. Looks like he got lucky and skipped a phase. Oh? Yeah, I'll tell you about it later. Right now, look for a glowing circle on the walls. Make sure you're off to the side of that glowing circle. Prometheus is going to fire its heat attack, a massive stream of fire that goes out in a straight line. It's a channeled attack, so make sure you don't touch the flames. Hmm. Chest burster would have been more fitting. No, Andy. Just no. Ooh, watch out! It's going to hit you with Unbreakable Sermit Drill. It's Tank Buster. It deals a lot of damage, so make sure you mitigate it with a cooldown. Sheltron! Ooh, it works surviving that. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Ooh, watch out now. It's going to fire its needle gun at you. Get away from its conal area of effect, but make sure you run back to the front once the attack goes off. Hmm. Alright. Here it comes. Oil shower. This is the mechanic you got to skip earlier on. You're fine where you are, but your party members need to run to the safe spot as fast as they can. Hmm. It might be best for them to stay in melee range throughout the fight then, huh? Yeah, I guess. Oh, here comes Freezing Missile. Gather up in the center as there will be proximity AoEs dropping all around the field. Prometheus burrowed too, so make sure you watch the walls for the heat attack. Move as soon as Freezing Missile goes off. Ugh, too much cardio. Is there anything else to watch for? Nope. Okay, good. Let's wrap this fight up then. Okay, let's move on. Oh hey, it's Imeric and Kanisena. Hmm, I should probably help them out too. Yep, know the drill. You have to clear out these enemies in order to proceed to the next area. Gotcha. Now make sure you pick up that hexadrone that just burst through the walls. I'm totally gonna drag it with me. Guess the time you spent training your melee and casters made you even more reckless than before, huh? Reckless? No, I'm just being efficient. Eh, if you say so. You're going to go through a little mini gauntlet of enemies here, by the way. Just make sure you don't waste all your cooldowns in the last one. The boss room is just ahead. Alright. Hey, wait a minute. It's going to self-destruct. Quick, everyone! Burn all your cooldowns! Oh no, it'll be fine. Just leave it to Yugiri, Lise, or Hien. They'll get the job done for you. That's a lot of damage. Yep. Hmm. Where are these two? You're going to be facing off against the sisters, Ania and Julia Quo Soranus. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> uh, nothing. Okay. I don't want to know anyway. Oh, the blue one just jumped away and now I'm finding the red one. That's Ania. Okay, make sure to watch out for her tank buster, Delta Trance, which she's going to start the fight with. Make sure to mitigate it with a cooldown as it hits quite hard. Hey, wait a minute. I'm getting targeted by something. That would be Julia's doing. She'll be taking pot shots at one of you randomly when her air's being attacked while you fight Ania. Damage to you should be negligible since you're the tank. Hey, that blue sister is doing something outside the arena. That's crossbones. Ania must be issuing the order to bombard. Just make sure you don't stand in the large circle AoEs and you'll be fine. Those crosses don't do much damage, but they do knock back, so either pop a cooldown that stops you from being knocked back or position yourself so you won't be pushed into any of the circles. Also, Ania will perform Angry Salamander and will target one of you at random with a straight line AoE attack. Make sure to avoid it. That's a lot of attacks. Make sure you watch out for artificial plasma. It deals a good amount of unavoidable damage. Both sisters like to use that attack, by the way, so stay alert. I'll just face tank it. Ha! <laughs> Says the wuss who just popped shelter on. 
Make sure to watch out for Julia's attack, so order, or she will launch four crossbones at once across the arena. Just make sure to avoid it. So many mechanics. Hey, at least you don't have to do the play-by-play. -play. Anya has one more unique attack, by the way. Standing sweep. Just make sure you're out of range or else she will stun you with her attack. You could say she's a stone-cold stunner. <sighs> yes, we got her. Okay, good. But keep on your toes. You're not done yet. Oh, crap. You're going to be attacked by the pair with their crosshatch attack. They'll fire off a crossbones attack and ricochet between themselves all around the field. Your echo sight should show you thin lines on the ground. Make sure you're not standing on any of those to avoid this deadly attack. These lines are hard to see. They already have perfect vision. Don't you wear glasses? They're not real. Eh, weirdo. Okay, so the blue one just tagged in. That one would be Julia. She's going to start with artificial plasma right away. What you need to look out for though is her follow-up tank buster. What's it called? Um, let's see here. Oh, Innocence. Just make sure you use a cooldown for this as well. Oh, and make sure to keep an eye out for Anya on the side. She's going to use Angry Salamander. Why did I pick up the shield again? Hey, Cerulean tanks just fell in the arena. Oh crap, that's Commence Airstrike. Julia's going to shoot one of the Cerulean tanks and set off a chain of quick explosions. Position yourself well here and keep on the move. And Annie is firing off Angry Salamander at us too. Yeah, she'll do that often. Fun times, right? Hey, Julia surrounded herself with four crossbones. That's the order. She'll fire them out in a cross formation. Make sure you avoid Anya's order to fire as well. Man, these sisters are sadistic. Okay, we got her. I think? It's not over yet. They're going to attack you with their crosshatch volley again with additional damage from covering fire. Just do your best to spread out and avoid their attack path. Why won't they just stay down? It was this. Make sure you don't let them cast Imperial Authority at all costs. Use a limit break if you have to. Why? What happens if they do? Eh, the intel on that is sparse, but it can't be any good. I want to find out. Eh, no, Andy. Let's come home safe, okay? <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, tell Hikari I'm just finishing up here. And that I didn't mean what I said earlier, okay? Yeah, no, you can clean up your own mess when you get back. Ah, crap. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a like and sharing with your friends. Your support would be much appreciated. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel if you would like to see more content like this. Thank you again for watching, and as always, take care, and I hope you continue having fun playing Final Fantasy XIV. See you next time!